I'll show you the getting out now. One leg, sort of lean on the seat, hand here. That's what works for me. Just be aware, this is not as easy to get in and out of as you might be used to. You don't have to be a gymnast, uh, but it would definitely help. We'll start with highway touring, and the C8 does some fantastic work as a touring car. My tester was equipped with the Z51 Performance chassis and ran the magnetic selective ride suspension, which equips high-tech shock absorbers that can read and react to the road. At the direction of a computer control system, these intelligent shocks fine-tune their springiness with millisecond precision, unlocking special abilities to control the vehicle's body motion, ride quality, and handling response in real time. Drivers can select the Tour Drive Mode, which sets the dampers into a remarkably comfortable and laid-back calibration. The effect from the driver's seat is one of sitting down low as the C8 glides along, soaking up and absorbing bumps in the road rather than dramatically bouncing over them. The Corvette largely hovers over the sort of dips and bumps that send some performance cars for a ride, and that increases driving comfort and reduces driver stress and fatigue. You enjoy it all from behind the new signature widescreen view of the road ahead, enabled by the new mid-engine driving position. More on that later. So after over 900 kilometers of highway touring across plenty of central and northern Ontario, I'd happily tell you my tester was a performer that's more than comfortable enough for long-distance highway road tripping. Aside from the excessive tire noise on some surfaces, the highway drive is one of this car's most valuable assets. Heck, the 6.2-liter, 495-horsepower V8 does about 1,500 revs at a good clip, often in four-cylinder mode, so it's highly reasonable on fuel, too. Next up, I want to show you the nighttime driving, and hilarious performance credentials and sound effects aside, the C8's after-dark driving experience was responsible for some of the biggest grins on my test drive. That's for two specific reasons. First, the headlights are very powerful. Low beams flood the road near the car with a thick layer of clean white light. There's plenty of useful illumination in tree lines and culverts nearby. The lighting color is clean and white, the spread is evenly saturated, and the aim is precise, meaning there's plenty of light landing where it's needed and little where it's not. This all adds up to make it more comfortable for you to see in the dark, since you don't need to squint or strain to see detail far up the road. And in seven hours of after-dark driving, not one oncoming motorist flashed me with their brights. I also noted impressive engagement of faraway reflective surfaces. That's another key safety attribute of a high-performing lighting system like this. Even at a distance, those surfaces are engaged brightly by the C8's headlights, and that makes it easier to see wildlife that might be crossing in front of them. So in all, this is a confidence-inspiring lighting system on par or better than I typically expect at this price point. And that's about 102000 for the nicely decked out 3LT on your screen, by the way. Turn the instrument cluster dimmer down all the way, and the C8's dash goes into dark mode. All interior lighting and screens go black, and all interior lighting is switched off. The digital instrument cluster reduces to a minimal display with speed, temperature, and fuel, and the gear shift console remains dimly lit. Beyond that, everything else is blissfully dark. On an unlit highway, this setting makes it easier to focus on the road, reduces eye strain, and makes for a significantly more comfortable drive. Cold start on this thing's pretty cool. Now let me show you a few ways the Corvette C8 helps reduce driver stress. Cars with extreme shapes like this are often hard to see out of, blind spots are large, limited rearward visibility decreases the information available to the driver, which can increase stress levels, and changing lanes often requires a full investigation be launched before you tap that signal lever. Especially when maneuvering in tight quarters in close proximity to other vehicles, this can make some drivers anxious and nervous. So can parking, because in addition to low visibility, high-performing cars like this Corvette often sit very low to the ground, with ground clearance being another source of stress. So to help mitigate this, designers employed some high-tech solutions. The rearview mirror is replaced by a live camera feed. It's free of obstruction from the vehicle's interior panels, enables a wider rear view with no blockages, delivers excellent performance in low light, 
and eliminates headlight glare from behind you after dark. There's also a 360 degree camera system that helps when reversing and maneuvering in tight quarters. Camera angles can be called up to monitor the proximity of the C8's wheels, tail, and nose to nearby objects. The backup camera has an ultra-wide angle and great graphics. And in all, moving around in tight spaces hardly causes any stress. And if you're worried about grounding out that nose cone, just press a button and the optional suspension lift system quickly but noisily jacks up the vet's front end for extra clearance. There's also this button here that actually lifts the front of the car on command to help clear uh, speed bumps. So press that, it says vehicle raising. And let me see if you can see that in action here. Pressing the button now. Yeah, from inside it looks fairly subtle, but that is a little bit of extra confidence if you're pulling into a parking space or a driveway with a pretty big curb or a speed bump. Let's talk about shifting gears, and I'm not happy that you can't get the C8 with a manual transmission either, but the dual-clutch gearbox bolted between the mid-mounted V8 and the rear wheels is a seriously potent piece of hardware. This gearbox is capable of very smooth, undetectable, and fully automatic operation. But the thing is, when called upon, even the most discerning manual transmission enthusiasts are still likely to find some serious enjoyment in the incredible response time and shift speed. The overwhelming majority of my smiles from this gearbox came from its unflappable smoothness even in severe use. Even with the tires lit up a little in the top of first gear, the millisecond upshift into second occurs with no axle lash, meaning that you hear the shifts but don't feel them. From the driver's seat, that means you can expect acceleration, sounds, and a power curve characteristic of a free-breathing performance V8, but with driveline smoothness just about on par with something electric. Now let's talk about one of the biggest differences you'll find if you're switching from a C7 to a C8 Corvette. And that is the cornering and handling feel. The C8 is built to achieve high targets for handling and performance, but consider just driving it around town or out on a Sunday tour of your favorite winding back roads. In the mid-engine C8, you're sitting forward in the body, not behind a mile of hood. The windscreen and forward view are more open and informative. Most drivers will see the fenders, but not the hood, from their seated position. Put it all together and you've got a widescreen arcade racer look to the forward view and it's a different forward view than the Corvette has ever had. From that foundation, drivers will likely find the C8's cornering and handling feel to be the icing on the cake. That open outward view makes it easier for drivers to place the car in corners confidently with less second guessing. Then you direct the car via a steering system that's very fast, very light, and very precise. Remember, with no engine between the front wheels, the front of the car feels very, very light and very, very eager to turn with just the most minuscule inputs to the wheel. So there's this gleeful, carefree feel to the cornering and handling and drive as you just use fractions of an inch of steering input to point the car around. The open view and highly responsive steering help inject energy into the feel of the C8 even in ordinary situations. Of course, you need a racetrack to see what this car can really do, but... Even the on-ramps, and especially roundabouts on your daily commute, become sources of entertainment. So you absolutely don't need to be driving the pants off of this car to appreciate the benefits of its mid-engine feel and driving position. Still, some drivers will wish for a quieter highway ride on some surfaces, and I was disappointed with the quality and look of the leather used on the steering wheel, though I didn't mind the squared-off shape. Ultimately, the new C8 strongly leverages some new and signature technologies to help give drivers the best experience possible in the widest range of driving situations possible. All of that while inspiring confidence and encouraging full enjoyment of its capabilities. So hopefully those insights help you to question or confirm your purchase decision in a new C8 Corvette. Take care and drive safe.
So here's the question, where were you 32 years ago? I know some of you weren't even a glint in your father's eye. As for me, well, I was in diapers, but found time to get motoring TV off the ground. And today I like to think we've got one of the best automotive video libraries in the world. If you agree, please give us the thumbs up and also subscribe. We really appreciate it.